Today I'm going to show you how to paint redhead decoys. I already have three coats of white paint on the drake and I'm letting that dry and then I'll start on the rest of it. Probably start with the hen next. Here's some decoys that I've already painted. Some uh, goose shells, one with gray chest, one with white chest. And over here I have a blue winged teal hen. I actually found this while I was out hunting. If you look at the cheek, looks a little messed up. It's actually busted up on the bottom there too, right there on the wing, the head. It had been shot at. I used waiter glue to repair it. That stuff works wonders. So uh, let's move on. Okay, the Drake is still drying. Going to put a uh, brown coat on the hen. Not going to worry too much about getting the beak painted because that's going to get painted later. Okay, so we got that painted up. Gonna let that sit and dry. It might look a little dark. Not done yet, so it's gonna look better. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some gray to the wing of the Drake Redhead. what it looks like and I don't know there, there might be a few spots that has a little too much gray but we'll see how it looks when I take the tape off and I can always put a little bit of white on there and if it's not dark enough I can always touch it up so now we're gonna go on to the hen okay so here's the hen doesn't look like a hen yet but the reason that I left all that black is because it's a darker brown than the rest of the body. So I'm going to go over lightly with this, this spray paint and make sure not to make it as brown as the rest of the body. Just darker but an obvious brown. So let's get to it. You just want the paint to kind of fall on the decoy. Don't really spray on it. Just get it to fall on it. The best way I can explain it. So it's getting browner. Still dark. Looking good so far. And I don't know if you noticed, but the base coat that I put on the hen and the drake, the drake is solid black, the hen was slightly brown. What I did was sprayed it black, then I just held, held it up, 
then that's the back edge. And just lightly sprayed it from a distance with brown until I got the base coat. Touch this up a little bit. That back neck's a little tricky. Might not quite look right on the video camera, but it looks really good right now. So, so now I'm gonna let that dry and add some tannish colors to this. Well, not really brighter colors. So, like a white or a tan or something like that, darker tan to the side to add some bit of a brighter color for feathers right there on the edge, and then. Add the white in the butt, paint the eyes, the beak, and we'll be done real quick. Now that the paint's dry, it's time to take the tape off. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I touched up some of the black sections that got some white on it and whatnot. Now all that's left is the beak and the head and the eyes. I'm also going to touch up the white, add a little bit of gray, and I'll show you how to do that later. The next step is to put some gray on the wings, and to do that, we're going to use a foam brush, and we're going to use the gray spray paint, and what you want is lightly spray it, not, not a whole lot. I actually messed up on one of these wings and had to redo it, and then just test it and then just dab it on try not to get on the black but you can always tape over the white and fix the black up so not a big problem and then hardest part is going to get that edge try to get that as best you can You don't have to go too far down. Duck's not gonna see everything. Plus, it's probably white down, whiter down there. And again. Do your best getting up up along right here. And it's looking pretty good. Just tap it on. Just tap it on like that. looking good and then once you've done all this touch up the black got a little gray right there got gray right there just let this dry tape over it spray the rest of it black you don't have to worry about the head this has got some paint on it right up in here you're gonna paint this reddish reddish brown like rustic color have yet to find the right paint but I might just try to mix something up then you're gonna get the bluish beak, white stripe, black tip, 
and, uh, and that's it.